Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's lesson, we're going to be going over North Carolina's nail practical exam for the 2021 calendar year. Now before we begin, it would be so awesome if you guys can hit that little like and subscribe button down at the bottom of the video. Thank you so much for your support. So let's begin. In this exam, there will be 7 sections, work area preparation, client preparation and setup of supplies, 15 minutes, manicure and polish application, 20 minutes, work area and new client preparation and setup of supplies, 10 minutes, Nail tip application and blending 20 minutes, sculpture nail 20 minutes, removal of sculpture nail 20 minutes, and blood exposure uh, individually time 5 minutes per candidate. So let's begin. Section 1 Work area preparation, client preparation, and setup supplies 15 minutes. First, begin with taking out your hand sanitizer and sanitize your hand. Next, Remove the three containers to be disinfected, trash, and soil linen, and set them up underneath your work area. Afterwards, sanitize your hand again. Then, put on a pair of gloves and take out your disinfectant and we're going to disinfect your work area. Now remember, your disinfectant has to be a disinfectant wipe, it cannot be aerosol or spray, and it has to be EPA registered to be bactericidal, fungicidal, and viricidal. Now when you're done disinfectant, dispose of your glove and sanitize your hand again. Then take out your supplies for the manicure and polish application and begin setting up for the client. Also remember to take out your general supplies as well. This supply will be used throughout the whole exam for both manicure and acrylic application and tip application. Now remember, when you're done with any procedure, remember to close your storage container and to indicate that you're finished, turn the mannequin hand around and then sanitize your hands. Next, manicure and polish application, 20 minutes. In this procedure, we're going to begin with sanitizing our hands 
and sanitizing the client or the mannequin's hand. Next, we're going to do a visual inspection of the surrounding skin and the nail plate of the mannequin hand, and then we're going to pretend to trim the nail down to the desired length. Next, using a fine grit file, you're going to file the mannequin's nails to the desired length and to the desired shape. Now, it would be advised that you should have this prepped before the exam. That way you don't have to file too much. Next, we're going to wash the mannequin's fingers. We're going to make sure to wash off all the debris and dust that was created during the filing and clipping. And to dry the mannequin's fingers and hands, we're going to use a towel or the paper towel that's on your table. Afterwards, sanitize your hands before going to the general supply to grab a Q-tip. And on this Q-tip, we're going to apply a cuticle softener. Remember to dispense it over the trash can just so that if anything spills out, it's going to spill into the trash bag or trash container instead of on the floor or on your table. We're going to apply the cuticle softener to around the skin. We're going to sanitize our hand again. And then we're going to gently push back the cuticle. Then turn the cuticle pusher around and use the curette side to clean underneath the nail and remove any debris that's hidden underneath the free edge. Afterwards, we're going to wash the mannequin's hand again for the second time to remove any loose debris or loose cuticle. Remember to always sanitize your hand before going into the general supply. This time we're going to grab a second Q-tip and we're going to apply alcohol. And then we're going to use this Q-tip to cleanse the surface of the nail and underneath the free edge. Now we're going to dispose the Q-tip into the trash, sanitize our hand, and then we're going to grab a fine to medium grit buffer. Make sure we season the edge of the buffer so it doesn't cut your client or damage the mannequin finger. We're going to lightly buff the surface and the free edge. Next, we're going to wash the mannequin's hand and fingers one last time. After that, we're going to sanitize our hand before we grab the last Q-tip. And on this Q-tip, we're going to apply cuticle oil and then that cuticle oil is going to get applied to the surrounding skin of the finger. Dispose of the Q-tip. We're going to sanitize our hand. And then we're going to take a little bit of lotion. We're going to apply a little bit of lotion to the mannequin hand or to your hand, whichever is fine. Do not, however, let the opening of the bottle touch either your skin or the mannequin.
Okay, we're gonna spread the lotion all over the mannequin's hand, and then we're gonna begin massaging around the wrist, the middle of the hand, and around the knuckle. We're gonna perform at least two types of massage, a petrissage and an effluage. We're also gonna massage the fingers, We're going to turn the hand around and massage the bottom of the hand, massage the palm and the fingers again. The same technique that we did for the top of the hand. Afterwards, sanitize your hand and then we're going to cleanse the nail plate in order to do the polish application. Now to perform the nail polish application, we're going to apply four coats, one base coat, two color coats, and one top coat.
Now when you're done, inspect it, make sure there's no polish on the skin, sanitize your hand, and turn the mannequin hand around for inspection, and wait for further instruction. Next procedure, you will have 5 minutes to remove the polish and clean up your work area. Okay, go and turn the mannequin hand around, sanitize your hand, and then you're going to begin removing the polish from the mannequin's nails. Now after you're done removing the polish, sanitize your hand and then set the mannequin hand aside and we're going to begin cleaning up our work area. Now this does not involve disinfecting. We are simply just removing all supplies and products that are on the table along with the towel, finger bowl, and anything that can be disinfected goes into to be disinfected. Anything that's trash and not reusable goes into trash. And then of course our linen or uh, towel linen goes into soil linen. Now as you can see here we're going to soak up the water first with a paper towel and any remaining water that's in the finger bowl can be soaked up using the uh, linen or the towel as well too. Go ahead and sanitize your hand and then take the mannequin hand turn it around to indicate you have completed your assessment. Next, work area, a new client preparation and setup of supplies, 10 minutes. In this section, you're gonna be setting up a table for a new client. This client is gonna be doing a nail tip application, sculpture application, and sculpture removal. So begin by sanitizing your hand and put on a pair of gloves. Next, take out your disinfectant wipes and we're going to disinfect our work area. When you're finished, go ahead and dispose the wipe and your gloves and sanitize your hand. 
Afterwards, we're going to grab the supplies for the nail tip application, sculpture nail, and sculpture removal, and we're going to set up the table for a new client. Now, in this section for North Carolina, it is very important to remember that your monomer has to be either low odor or odorless, and it has to be factory sealed. When you're done setting up your supplies, go and turn the mannequin hand around, sanitize your hand to indicate you have completed your assessment. Next, nail tip application and blending, 20 minutes. You'll be assigned a finger to perform nail tip application and blending. Uh, listen carefully to which finger your proctor assigns. For our exam, it will be the index finger. So to begin, we're going to sanitize our hand and then sanitize the mannequin's hand. Next, we're going to be using a nail clipper to trim the assigned finger, which for us is the index finger. Then we're going to file the nail to the desired shape. For us, we're just going to file into a natural square. Afterwards, we're going to remove the shine from the nail surface using a medium to fine grit buffer. Next, we're going to sanitize our hand before going into the general supply to grab a paper pad and apply alcohol and cleanse the index finger. Remember to remove all debris and dust from the finger. This will make your application much easier. Afterwards, sanitize your hand and then remove a nail tip that fits the assigned finger and the adhesive that you're going to be using to apply the nail tip. When the nail tip has adhered to the nail plate, go ahead and use a nail clipper or scissor to trim down to the desired length. Now go ahead and grab your file and shape and blend the nail down to the desired shape and length.
Be sure the edge is blended into the natural nail. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And then afterwards, we're gonna use a buffer to smooth out the rest of the surface. Afterwards, sanitize your hand, grab another paper pad, we're gonna apply alcohol and then cleanse the index finger. When you're done cleansing, sanitize your hand after you throw the paper pad away. Make sure the nail is nicely blended, it is not too thin, there are no debris, and then turn the mannequin hand around. Next, sculpt your nail, 20 minutes. Again, you'll be assigned a finger for this portion of the exam. So for our exam, it's gonna be the middle finger. First, sanitize your hand, turn the mannequin hand around, and then we're gonna trim we're going to pretend to trim and then shape the middle finger. After that, we're going to use a buffer to remove the shine from the nail plate. Sanitize our hand and then cleanse the middle finger using a paper pad and alcohol. Sanitize your hand and then begin dispensing the monomer and polymer into your dappin dish. Remember to be sure to use only low odor or odorless monomer and polymer for the exam. Now it is advised to use same brand for monomer and polymer. A lot of times odorless monomer and polymer do not like to be mix and match with different brands. We're going to set that aside and then we're going to begin applying the nail form. Now when you're done applying the form, make sure the form is nice and straight, and then go ahead and apply your primer. Next, sanitize your hand, and now we're going to begin building out the sculpture nail. Now I have a separate paper pad, or a separate paper, to clean your acrylic brush on.
Now when you're finished, go and set the brush aside, and then we're going to begin cleaning up. During the time that the acrylic takes to dry, we're going to clean up our dappen dish. We're going to absorb all the monomer that's left over, place it into a Ziploc bag, and then dispose of that in the trash, sanitize our hand. The remaining powder can be left in the dappen dish to be disposed later. Now, if you feel so inclined, you can dispose the uh, remaining uh, powder into the Ziploc bag as well, and then dispose of that too. Now, after about five to seven minutes, your acrylic should feel hard to the touch. There is a tacky layer on the surface though, due to the fact that it is a low odor or odorless uh, monomer and polymer. So we're gonna remove that inhibition layer or that tacky layer using a fine to medium grit file. Now after that layer has been removed, we're gonna shape the nail and buff it smooth. After it's buffed smooth, we're going to sanitize our hand and then we're going to cleanse the nail. Remember to when you're cleansing to remove all debris and dust that's around the nail and the surrounding fingers and also the uh, adjacent fingers next to it. Now when you're finished cleansing, go and dispose of the paper and start organizing and cleaning up your work area before turning the mannequin hand around. Next, section six, we're gonna remove the sculpture nail, 20 minutes. Begin by turning the hand around, sanitizing your hand. We're going to use the file to file the length down just a little bit. And then we're going to file and rough up the surface so that the acetone can absorb better. Now we're going to sanitize our hand and then we're going to begin the soaking process to remove the acrylic. You can soak the finger in a dappen dish. For us, we're going to be using a cotton ball and acetone method where we're going to apply acetone into the cotton ball and then we're going to clamp it onto the fingers. This would take about 5 to 10 minutes to remove most of the acrylic. Now, you would only need to remove the acrylic that was applied for the sculpture. You would not need to remove all the acrylic entirely. Now after about 5 to 10 minutes, we're going to remove the clamp and remove the cotton ball. Then we're going to use a wooden pusher or any pusher of that matter uh, to scrape off and push off downward away from the cuticle any uh, soaked off or softened acrylic. Then we're going to use our file to file down the nail and the majority of the extension from the sculpture nail. And then we're going to use this file to remove the acrylic that has also been softened on top of the surface. Be sure that as you're filing the surface that you do not damage the mannequin's finger. And we're done. Go ahead and buff the finger smooth.
and then begin throwing away any trash that's on the table, like the cotton ball, the wind pusher, sanitize your hand, and then we're gonna cleanse the nail. Be sure to remove any dust or debris that's on the surface, around the finger, or on the fingers that's adjacent to that finger. When you're done, throw away the paper pad, sanitize your hand, and then we're going to grab a Q-tip, then we're going to apply oil to that Q-tip, and then apply the oil to the surrounding skin of the finger we just removed the acrylic. This will rehydrate the mannequin or the client's skin after such a procedure. When you're done, throw the Q-tip away, sanitize your hand, then turn the mannequin hand around to indicate you have completed your assessment. Last procedure, blood exposure. You'll be individually timed 5 minutes per candidate to perform a blood exposure procedure on your index finger. Do not start until the examiner tells you to do so. Now when you're instructed to begin, set the mannequin hand aside, then go ahead and organize your table and clear your table and all supplies to one side so that you have a clear work area to work with. Then go ahead and wash your hands using the hand sanitizer and dry your hand off using a paper towel. Go ahead and dispose of that paper and then take out your first aid kit. We're going to take out the antibiotic ointment and a Q-tip. We're going to take a little bit of the ointment using the Q-tip and then apply it to our injured index finger. Now make sure you dispose of the ointment after you're done using it and make sure you dispose of the Q-tip after you're done applying the ointment. Do not place these items on your table or work area. Next, grab a band-aid and we're going to apply the band-aid to your index finger. Remember, do not leave any trash on your workstation or work area. Dispose of them immediately. Now we will begin to disinfect your work area. First we're going to begin by putting on a pair of gloves. And with the gloves on, we're going to now begin to organize and clear our work area. Dispose of anything that's single use into the trash, and anything that's reusable or multi-use, such as products, tools, implements, into to be disinfected. And of course, towels go into soil linen, and then the paper towel goes into trash. Next, take out your disinfectant wipe and we're going to disinfect our work area.
When you're all done, dispose of the wipe and your gloves. And then we're going to wash our hands for the second time using the hand sanitizer and dry it off using a paper towel. Then take out finger guard and then apply the finger guard to the injured finger. Dispose of your first aid kit to be disinfected, sanitize your hand, and then turn your hand around to indicate you have completed your assessment. And that's it guys, that's the end of the exam. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any questions, just message us on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, we wish you good luck on your exam. Thanks guys.